Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a different kind of video than the ones I usually make, uh, trying something new, and this is going to be a haul inspired by my subscription bag. So let me tell you how this started. Every once in a while I get a product that doesn't really seem like I can do a video reviewing it on its own because it's not going to be that interesting. So for example, a few months ago, I received in my Ipsy subscription this butter lipstick from NYX, which is a great product, but we all kind of know the NYX brand and so it wasn't that interesting to describe very much about the company. And also as a product, it's a lipstick. So apart from the color of it, there's not that much to say. I mean, with liquid lipsticks and things, you can sort of see how long they last for, but I didn't really feel there was enough to do a video about it. Then come this month in my Ipsy subscription, I received another NYX product. This is the NYX Whipped Lip and Cheek Souffle or Lip and Cheek Color. I've seen it called both things. And I thought, okay, so once again, I'm getting a product that I think is kind of interesting. So what do I want to do with this? And what I decided is that I would take these products, but then also go and buy some other lip products from NYX so that I could do a video like this, which is a little bit of a haul, a little bit of a swatch video, and then two weeks from now, or a week from now, whenever I decide to put up the follow-up video, when I've had a good amount of time to test all of the products, then I will get a chance to come back, I will tell you my favorites, my least favorites, rank them, give you pros and cons of each, not necessarily to tell you what you should use, but but each of these products does a different thing. So if you are somebody who wants a certain kind of texture, a certain kind of product, or want it to do certain things, then hopefully that review will help you see if this is what you want. So that's the idea, is I'm kind of calling this a haul, but it's not so much about like the, the buying and over the topness and everything of it. It's more about getting a chance to talk about some products that perhaps wouldn't be so interesting to do one video at a time about, but instead we can do sort of a collection of things from a brand in the same category, and then follow up and tell you how everything went. I am going to talk a little bit about the company and then I will get into the products. I will put timestamps down below for each of the products so that if you want to skip forward to any of them, you are more than welcome to do that. So let's talk a little bit about NYX. NYX was founded by Tony Ko. Her family uh, were involved in textiles and fashion, I believe, before moving to Los Angeles, where they became more involved in fragrances and cosmetics. When she was, I think, 25 in 1999, they provided her with $250,000 from her family for her to start NYX. NYX, I believe, although it's spelled N-Y-X, there's a goddess whose name is N-I-X, NYX, in... Greek mythology? Not too sure about that. In any case, she started out selling online. The idea was to sell really quality cosmetics at a low price, and it just started going like crazy. I think she had $2 million worth of sales in her first year, and selling online, then selling in Ulta, then selling in Target, and it just grew and grew and grew. She ended up selling the company to L'Oreal in 2014 for $500 million. <laughs> she no longer works for the company as she decided she didn't want to keep working for the company she founded but not be working for herself. But being an entrepreneur, she has since moved on and is in the process of starting a new company called Perverse Sunglasses, I believe. Same deal, trying to make good quality sunglasses at a reduced price than what you would pay from some other manufacturers. So that is all I'm gonna say about NYX. I want to get into talking about the individual products that I have either from my subscriptions or the ones that I bought to test out as well. So let's start with talking about this NYX whipped lip and cheek souffle. <laughs> it's a mouthful. It's also called the lip and cheek color. Um, but this was from my June Ipsy subscription. And it's it's an interesting little product. This one is in the color Pink Cloud, and it is what I have on my lips right now as well as on my cheeks, but I'm gonna apply a little bit more for you. This comes in eight different shades. They claim it is a mousse texture. They claim it will add color to the apples of your cheeks while also being able to precisely line the lip. Uh, let me zoom you in a little bit. And we'll do a little bit more on my lips and then some on my cheeks so you can see what the applicator and everything looks like. It's kind of this interesting angled, thicker doe foot kind of applicator. There's actually a hole in the middle there to pick up more color. So I'm going to go a little bit more on there. And then dot a little bit more onto the apples of my cheeks. 
I've been doing a lot more um, sort of summery looks where I haven't been setting my foundation or BB cream. Wow, I'm making myself really flushed right now with this. Um, and I really do like this for it, these sort of cream. This actually does blend very well. I just put a lot of it on. Um, I like this, especially if you want to do sort of a no foundation day but still have some color on your cheeks. This is great. Um, so this is the Pink Cloud of the NYX Whipped Lip and Cheek Souffle. Next, we're gonna talk about the NYX Butter Lipstick. This one here is in the shade Ripe Berry. This was also from an Ipsy subscription. The butter lipsticks come in 34 different shades, and they are described as luscious shades with a delicate satin texture, um, and it's going to be full yet lightweight coverage with a luxurious satin finish. So this is, a, it's a lipstick, you know? This one is a dark berry color, and let's see what it looks like on my lips. I don't find this to be full coverage right away, but it is very nice feeling on the lips, very comfortable. So this is the Butter Lipstick in Ripe Berry. Next, we're gonna be getting into the ones that I actually purchased from NYX to go along with this video. And I have four that I purchased here. I'm gonna put these on hopefully in the order of the ones that are the most difficult to get off my lips last. So let's zoom you back in and we will get to trying some of these. The first one that I have here is one of their Intense Butter Glosses. This one is in the shade Summer Fruit and it claims to be the same feeling on your lips as the original Butter Glosses, which I have not tried but I know people love, but with more of an intense payoff of color. This is an outside the box color for me, but let's put it on and see it, what it looks like. Oh, so it's a very regular little doe foot. Slightly sweet scent to it. Oh. Uh. That is bright. So it feels very creamy on the lips, a little bit stiffer, not in a bad way, but you know how some glosses just feel like they're gonna go all over the place? This one doesn't feel that way. Not sure that this is my color, but hey, we gotta get outside the box sometimes, right? So this is the Intense Butter Gloss in Summer Fruit. The next one I'm going to try is a Cosmic Metal Lip Cream. This one is in the shade Galactic Love. When I went to my NYX store that I have here in the mall, there were only two shades left, this one and a very orange one, and I thought this was likely to be the more wearable one for me, and I do want to keep using these products as much as possible. So there are 17 shades of the Cosmic Metals Lip Cream. It claims to provide intense multi-dimensional color combined with the glistening effect of a gloss and is supposed to feel like a gloss on your lips as well. So let's crack into this one. <laughs> and see how it looks and feels. Interesting angled little doe foot, if it's supposed to be angled, and no scent. Hmm. It's not quite as metallic as I expected it to be. I did have to build that up a little bit, but it does feel very comfortable on the lips and actually is more wearable than I expected it to be. So this is the Cosmic Metal Lip Cream in Galactic Love. The next one that I have here is the most pricey one that I picked up. It is the NYX Ombre Lip Duo, Ombre Lip Duo. So this is, I think, a relatively new product from them. It's basically a pencil with two ends that you can do an ombre look on your lips. It comes in 12 colors, and all it really claims is to be a satin matte lipstick. So let's, let's open this up and see what it looks like. This one that I got is in the shade, oh, Freckles and speckles, that is appropriate. There we go. There it is, and, oh, twists out. So that, I think, is the darker color. Yeah, and this is the lighter one, which doesn't seem to have its tip on it anymore. <laughs> the other side is a lot sharper. Okay, so the idea is I'm going to use the darker one to line around my lips and in a little bit and then fill with the other ones. So let's give that a try. So that's what I have for the outside darker color. Now let's try filling in with this one. What do we think? Is it looking ombre? 
Makes my look like, lips look slightly poutier perhaps. It is matte. So this is the Ombre Lip Duo in Freckles and Speckles. And now that my lips are looking a little bit red, I'm going to get to the last but certainly not least product, which is the NYX Epic Ink Lip Dye. I figured this one might be staying on my lips, so let's do it last. I got mine in the color, wow, this is hard to read on a dark container. Oh, it's in the color Slay, apparently. There are 12 shades of this. They're all relatively dark shades. They're either bright reds or deep colors. Uh, it is supposed to provide a dramatic stain, super saturated and lightweight, and dry to a matte finish. So that's what this is supposed to do. It's a little doe foot, no smell at all. It feels very um, light, like it's a much tinier doe foot than all the others that have been in these products. Mm, it's gonna be dark. That is a very thin liquid. It really does feel like it's a stain. What I'm interested in, because you really wouldn't want this moving around a lot, is can you let it dry to a certain point and then blot it and then just have it stain your lips the whole day? That's kind of what I expect from what they're saying and it's starting to dry down a little bit now. It's comfortable, it's not drying at all in any way. I hope it is like a stain because that would be kind of cool. So this is the NYX Epic Ink Lip Dye in Slay. So these are all the products that I'll be testing. It's basically six NYX lip products that over the next couple of weeks I'm going to use, I'm going to try, I'm going to see the wear time, I'm going to see how they feel, how they how they look after a couple of hours, how they look after many hours, and I'm going to be back to give you my verdict on all of these and tell you which ones you should have in your life, which ones you can pass on, and then go from there. So if you like this kind of video, if you think this is a good idea and you would like to see more of them, give me a thumbs up. You are going to see at least one more of them because I'm doing a little bit of pre-recording as I'm going away for a little bit and I am recording another one for next week so I hope you do like this and keep watching for the second part where I give you my in-depth opinion on each. Thank you so much for watching me today. If you have tried these, if you have opinions, all of that, leave it in the comments. I love getting comments even though I'm not going to be filming uh, because I'm pre-filming. I'm still going to have access to respond to all of your comments. So I love doing that. Leave your comments down below. If you have not yet subscribed but you would like to do so, you can click on my face which will be appearing right about here. And if you would like to watch one of my old videos, you can click here and one should pop up. That is all for now, you guys. I will see you again in my next video. Bye!